name is Alyssa, welcome to my channel. Really excited to have you here today because we are going to be making some delicious vegan soup recipes which are perfect for the winter time. These recipes are nourishing, they are cozy, they're comforting, they're great for vegan meal prep ideas, and they taste so good. So I've linked everything for you that is already on the blog down in the description box. All of these recipes are up on the blog. You can find them by clicking those links down below. It includes instructions, ingredient lists, everything you need to make them. You guys are going to love these recipes. I have been holding on to these for a few months. I am so excited to finally share this video with you. So please do make sure that you share it with your friends and family. If there's anybody in your network you think would enjoy it, I would love for you to share it with them. And before we dive in, I just wanna remind you, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button right below this video. If this is the type of content that you like to see, make sure to subscribe because there is a lot more coming your way this year. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. So we're gonna start with our creamy cauliflower soup and first we are going to chop up the cauliflower. So to chop a cauliflower head, just remove all the leaves and then use your knife to kind of cut around the stem on the bottom and then pop the stem out. And I like to break it up into larger florets and then chop those florets into smaller ones. And then you can either just like go ahead and roast them if you were gonna use them for a different recipe. But for this recipe, we're gonna set them aside and move on to our soup. So we're gonna add some olive oil into a large saucepan or Dutch oven, add in some leeks as well as some garlic and give that a quick saute until the leeks start to soften. They cook really quickly, so maybe two minutes or so. And then we will add in our cauliflower and again, give that another quick saute to get everything nice and combined. And we'll let the cauliflower cook for maybe five, six minutes until it starts to soften a little bit and gets a little bit brown. Then you'll add in some white cannellini beans. You could also use garbanzo beans if you wanted, as well as some vegetable broth and some water. And give it a quick stir to combine everything. Bring this mixture to a boil, and then you're just going to cover it and reduce it to simmer until the cauliflower cooks and is tender. You can just test it with a fork. Once your cauliflower is tender, give it a quick stir and let this cool down a little bit because we are going to blend it up. So once it's cooled down, you're just add in the rest of your ingredients, which is a little bit of lemon juice, some raw cashews, and some nutmeg, and stir that together until it's combined. And then we will transfer this into our large blender and blend it up until it is smooth and creamy. You are probably gonna want a high powered blender here because of the cashews. So if you don't have one of those, you could probably leave out the cashews. It just helps to make it nice and creamy. Once it's nice and smooth, you can transfer it back into the pot, season it with some salt, and then I would taste it. I actually usually like to add a little bit more nutmeg, but taste it and adjust the seasonings according to your taste level. You could also add more lemon juice, you could stir in some nutritional yeast, basically whatever you want. And for garnishing, I love doing a little bit of a drizzle of olive oil, and then I sprinkle it with some fresh cracked pepper, some pomegranate seeds, and some pumpkin seeds. I really like having some crunch on top of creamy soups. It just like adds to the texture. And and the pomegranate adds a really nice sweet flavor. And then you can just go ahead and dig right in. The soup freezes well, it is easy to meal prep, it's a great staple that I love to have all winter long. Our second soup is our anti-inflammatory ginger turmeric carrot soup, it's so good. Again here we'll start by drizzling some olive oil into a large pan, add in some fennel as well as some leeks, you could also use white onion here if you wanted some carrots, some butternut squash or sweet potato, and some garlic, and give this a quick saute until the leeks or onions, if you're using them, are tender. This will take about three to four minutes. From there, we'll add in our spices. So we're using a bunch of fresh grated ginger, as well as some turmeric, some salt, and some pepper. And stir this all together and give it a saute for maybe one to two minutes so that the spices can get a little bit more flavorful and really coat all of those vegetables. From there, we will add in our liquid. So we're adding a can of full fat coconut milk as well as some vegetable broth. And then you will stir this to combine and bring it to a simmer. Once it's simmering, you can cover it and let it cook until the squash and carrots are tender. This takes about maybe 15 to 20 minutes. You can cook it for longer if you want to develop more of the flavors, but if you're in a rush, you can cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes and it should be fine. From there, just like the last one, you'll let it cool down a little bit before you add it into your blender, but then you can add it into your blender or you could use an immersion blender and just blend it up until it is completely smooth and creamy. Then you can transfer it into your bowls. And for serving, I like to garnish this with a nice dollop of coconut yogurt. It just adds a really nice creaminess and adds a little bit more flavor. 
as well as some cilantro or fresh parsley, some fresh cracked pepper, and a little bit of extra ginger. And again, this just like the last one, great for meal prep, great for freezing, and it's really gentle on your system and great for digestion. Our final soup is a creamy potato and leek soup. And just like the last ones, we're gonna add in some olive oil into our large pan, as well as some garlic and some leeks. I realize now that we're using leeks in all of these recipes, so you can swap the leeks out with onions if you want. I just really like the flavor of leeks. And you will, again, saute this until the leeks are tender, which takes about two to three minutes. Once you've got them a little bit tender, you can add in your potato. Just use white potato, just whatever kind of potato that you want. Add that in there and stir it all together to get it nice and combined. You can cook for a little bit to get the potatoes nice and brown, but I actually didn't. I just gave it a quick stir and then I seasoned it. And for seasonings, we're gonna use salt and pepper. Just very simple and basic. Stir that together to make sure that everything is nice and evenly seasoned. And then we will add in our liquid, which is vegetable broth. You're also gonna add in some bay leaf for extra flavor. And then I decided that I wanted a little bit of extra water. I didn't want it to be quite as thick, so I added in a touch of water as well. Bring this mixture to a boil. Once it's boiling, you can turn it down to simmer, cover it, and cook it until the potatoes are tender. So I will warn you, don't overcook this soup because the potatoes, as they get overcooked, they tend to get a little bit gummy. So you really do wanna watch them and watch for the consistency of the potatoes. You'll know when they're done when you can pierce them with a knife or a fork really easily. I would check it after maybe 10 minutes and then keep checking it every five minutes to make sure that they are nice and cooked because it will depend on how big you cut them as well as the type of potato that you use. Now before we blend it up, we are going to add in some cashews which add a really nice creaminess that's optional but I like to add cashews in just because it makes it a really nice texture and make sure you remove the bay leaves before you blend it up. Again, I recommend that you let it cool a little bit before you pop it in the blender. You won't be able to use an immersion blender if you use the cashews. So if you don't have cashews, you could use an immersion blender. If not, you should just use a regular blender and just blend it up until it's nice and smooth and creamy. Once it's creamy, you can pour it into your bowls. And for garnishing, I kept it really simple. I just did some fresh chopped rosemary as well as some pepper. This soup is really yummy, so hearty, and it's a really great vegan version of that classic soup recipe. All right, my friends, there you have it. There are three delicious vegan soup recipes which you are going to fall in love with. These recipes, like you can see, are pretty easy to make. They are so full of flavor, really great textures, perfect for this time of year. I, for one, love cozying up on the couch with a hot bowl of soup, a little bit of toast, maybe some avocado toast if I'm feeling a little fancy, and watching Netflix. It's like my perfect evening routine. It's just the best. So make sure to share a photo with me on Instagram. If you do end up making any of these recipes, you can tag at Simply Quinoa or use hashtag Simply Quinoa. I also want to encourage you to check out the recipes on my blog. So I've linked those down for you in the description box below. I've also linked any other things that I mentioned, like products that I used or playlists that you might find interesting down in the description box. So just make sure to click that show more button and check out what's down below. Otherwise, just wanna thank you again for being here. You guys are amazing. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. There's a red button right below this video. Give this video a thumbs up and you can always leave a comment with any sort of content suggestions that you have any recipes you want to see, any other videos that you want more of in 2019, make sure to leave those down in the comments below as well. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!